What's up, people? This is my 2023 Coda vlog. I know this is like three months late, but better late than never. Uh, last vlog was pretty long. It was uh, probably about 25 minutes long. I kind of just dumped everything. This one's going to be a little more condensed, probably about 15 minutes long. Uh, I, it still has all the important parts of the race, all like almost all the restarts, uh, just some good racing action and the finishes burnouts all that stuff from my pov i'm not really gonna show any tips or anything i'm more so just gonna show my experience i know i kind of shared the f1 video as more of a tutorial for people that wanted to go to it uh this one you know i'm just gonna dump all the videos footage that i got uh so yeah it was basically the same thing as last year um woke up early got there early got general admission tickets down in turn one uh some things were a lot better than last year i did, did a couple new things like coda uh but some things did not go according to plan and uh i'll show you all of it in this vlog also big big news we hit 300 uh i think it was yesterday the other day uh, i watched the subscriber counts like every single day so it was super super cool to see it grow um just like so extensively in the last couple of weeks because of the coda stop motion so a uh, huge thanks i mean massive massive thanks i got a ton of stuff coming in the future so just be prepared for that watch the nasmar race because i put a lot of effort into it uh, it's about this. Uh, anyways, yeah, so got here the same way, just by car, drove up here like three hours. Uh, well, we needed to go to the fan zone because Briscoe was having his Q&A there uh, like 30 minutes after the game opened. So we ran over there uh, and then we'd have to get back to the race. This part was funny because they had this awful show car on a Gen 4X like a indie car. I don't know what Bit Nile's doing over there, but anyways, as for the Q and A, I'm gonna just go into the Q and A. But uh, Briscoe, he had to go in the middle of it. Um, we didn't get to asking questions yet, but he had to leave because of some like team thing. Um, right when they were about to get to it, which really sucks because you know I always ask him the questions like, "What do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat for lunch? What do you eat for dinner?" It's like a staple when I go to these races. Um, so it sucks, but I'll get it at Nashville. And I got my 124 auto anyway, so that was pretty cool. They had Ricky Bobby there, not, not the real one, it was some fakey, uh, and he was kind of stealing the show. So I, I didn't get a photo with him, but it was pretty cool. They had this show car out, the Netspin one, and I did make a custom ad of it. It's not up for sale, but you can buy my other ones. It's on my eBay. Uh, and then they had this random Mexican ring funny it was so like obviously staged it, it was hilarious oh uh, the new thing the new thing we tried to do was actually go up the coda tower i've never actually been despite all my visits to coda so we decided to go up the tower um right under the tower there's a pretty good viewing spot you can see turn one s's uh, and carousel i definitely want to do it one day uh, because it's really nice to get really close to the cars and see a good portion of the track but for this time we just wanted to stay up in turn one uh, so there's the tower pretty big pretty intimidating we got up there on an elevator and there's a glass floor you can look straight down and it is very trippy very 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 but the views were very good however about like halfway through though i noticed this man and he looked very familiar uh, and he had this backpack from this podcast that i watched i was like huh this guy he lives close to me he looks like him and he has that backpack so I went up, and I started talking to him, and yeah, he really was uh, the guy I was referring to, Eric Eastup. So that was uh, really cool. I talked to him for maybe, like, not too long, probably like th only 30 seconds to a minute. But I did have a nice conversation and told him I watched his all of his videos, really. Uh, and he was a really nice guy, so that was cool. The views from the actual tower were awesome. I got to see a lot of the garages. I could pick out all the cars and them. I got to see the haulers and everything. But this lemonade stole the show. It was expensive, but it was the best lemonade I've ever had in my life, I swear.
I went to the SHR hall and I bought this metal sign. Uh, and it was kind of funny because the name banner is nowhere close to being correct. I got this 164 car as well. It's cool because uh, it kind of completes my 2022 set without the throwback car. I don't really collect the throwbacks. Went to the Calvish Cheddar's show car. And if you notice, there's the Idaho Mashed Potatoes hauler, which is infamous on this channel for what happened in Nashville, where and the potato he got boom. sick because he ate the mashed potatoes at Getting 8 a.m. in the morning as we got scanners. But anyway, we went by the show car again. Uh, we're back at the front stretch, and we got to our so-called seats. We just set up our lawn chairs. Uh, we saw Gunther there, saw the spotter. Uh, we got ready to oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. didn't last for long they had they already threw the yellow on that too because jimmy johnson and ty dillon were doing jimmy johnson and ty dillon things frisco got spun right in front of me and i am literally Never going to forgive Justin Haley for this. Like, I swear. Screw you, Justin Haley. And then we got into all the late race restart drama.
will still have to get around Kyle Busch before he can get to Reddick. That boat's well for Tyler Reddick. Oh! Oh! Six 
So yeah, um, that'll conclude it. I had so much fun like I always do at Coda. Just an awesome day, even though um, <laughs> the first go thing didn't go right. That's probably that's probably what I was looking forward to the most. But it's fine. It was uh, just awesome, like always. Coda always puts on a great show. Had a great time. I was super somber by the end of the day, but it was one hundred percent worth it. I can't wait to go back in the following years. Going to Nashville next week though, so that will be fun.